Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you for coming. Sorry for calling you out here even though we're in the middle of exams. That's your fault for playing games instead of studying. Yeah, there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. No way! You play too many games. That was a long time ago. We have to prepare for college exams next year, so there's no time for that. Yeah, not really. yours. We've been living under the same roof all this time. It's only natural we'd have a child together. Of course not. When did we ever have that sort of relationship? They say fact is stranger than fiction. But anyone would be surprised if they heard something like this. Uh, 
fine. It doesn't hurt anywhere. I thought we were at school. Where are we now? This is a creepy place. I don't want to stay here. Okay. I'll be all right. We barely walked at all. But thanks for looking out for me. Listen to me. You may not believe this either, but... I've never had a boyfriend. And I've never had a kid with anyone before. Huh? But I've been feeling strange since about three weeks ago. I checked online and found my symptoms are signs of being pregnant. I thought the same at first. Like maybe I was just imagining it. But I took one of those pregnancy tests and it came back positive. That must mean I'm pregnant, right? Not yet. I was too scared to. Then... Yeah. All right. Say. Let's go back together. Then we can play games again. Right. <sighs> My stomach! Don't let your guard down. My turn. Next up. Is it over? Pregnant? This is nothing. Nar! There they are! Nar! Narcissus! Hey ya! Welcome to the fantastical world of Grandvania! That stuffed animal is floating and talking. Wait, I think I know what this is. 
It has to be a drone that uses AI or something. Hi, Marta. Isn't that a nice name? Once you hear it, you'll never forget it. That's the kind of name it is. Wow. Not only can you talk, you can carry on a conversation? Modern figurines have really advanced from what I remember. I feel like the future has left me in the dust. short, it's a toy for adults. Isn't that right? <sighs> what? Are you calling me a plaything? I guess that's not quite right, huh? So, uh, what's your name? Uh, huh? M me? I'm Mahiro Konatsuki. <laughs> I can tell you're a virgin. You smell like a green banana. What? This toy is so rude. And you, what's your name? What? I somewhat remember that. Mana, is this the one? That's right, Nar. He's the god's gift this time around. Look, he has the star brand. It seems that way. Well, I don't know why there are two of them, though. Two god's gifts. Interesting. Um, who are you? And where are we? Excuse me. I apologize for the late introduction. My name is Narcissus. I am the palace scholar of the kingdom of Granvania. It's a world in a dimension different from yours. The gods get to have come to this world and called it a fantasy world. Uh... Let's save the details for later. How about I guide them away? Yes, please do. It's dangerous to remain out here. There are some hungry wild animals around these parts. Oh, hold on. Where are you taking us? To the castle. I would like for you to meet our king. This is our star energy. Your kind would probably call it magic. It's the castle town of the kingdom. Um, will we get sent back to our world after we meet the king? Yes, but just as I said earlier, only if you accept our king's suggestion. Please look ahead. That is National Star God Academy, the pride and joy of Granvania. The people of Granvania come to this academy to learn the ways of this world. I've seen this place in a movie before. You study magic here, right? The students learn to control the star energy they all hold within themselves. It's on the way, so let's take a look around the academy. The Academy is an all-in-one educational institution. There are also many other facilities, like a church and a hospital. Oh, it looks like the Star Maidens are gathering! Those are the 11 Star Maidens who defend the peace of this nation. Star Maidens? They're all young and bubbly. Does that get you excited? I'll introduce you to the Star Maidens later. Let's go to the castle. Your Majesty, I have brought them. 
I welcome you. I am the king of Granvania, Shangri-La. I am sure you two are surprised, for what happened was quite sudden. However, please listen to what I have to say. What do you mean? Just send us back to our world already. Very well. I shall be direct then. This world is in danger. We need you two to save us. That's so sudden. You can't just tell us that out of nowhere. Of course. Narcissus, explain to them so they may understand. Allow me to give you more insight into our world. First, our world calls the world you come from, Sora. Sora is a world which hosts a civilization developed by science. Our world, on the other hand, is built around star energy. I'm sure you remember, but star energy is what your kind would consider magic. Now, make sure you pay attention. This is where it gets important. Uh... But that won't happen. You see, each time a star offering loses its powers, a gift from the star god appears in this world to save us. Do you see it all coming together now? Yes, you two are the chosen gifts from the star god. In this world, every ten years, a god's gift with the star brand of the depowered star offering appears. They come from the gate of light connecting this world to Sora. God's gifts have a duty to purge impurities and bring balance to the labyrinths. Thus, we need you to fulfill that duty. It must be done. The fate of the world rests on your shoulders. In other words, he and I... We can't go back to our world without saving this one? As expected of the Virgo Star Maiden, you learn quickly. But we're just students. We wouldn't know what to do. How are we supposed to save the world? <laughs> Rione, is Rione here? You rang? Take the girl to the medical office. She'll be fine. She's probably just a little tired. <gasps> this star brand. Is she the Virgo star maiden? Yes. There are too many unknowns this time around. You should rest, too. Uh, Rione, can you take him with you? Not to worry. Rione is the palace physician. Thank you. You know, you're quite handsome when I look at you up close. I ask of you to save this world. You may return to yours after. Let's head to the medical office now. Now then, do you want to rest as well? No. After you fulfill your duty, the Gate of Light will appear. You can both return to your world then. I'm sure you still need some time to process what we've told you. But you two are, without a doubt, God's gifts. The star brands on your bodies prove that. That is proof you are a God's gift. Her mark is a Virgo. God's gifts have the star brand of the star offering whose power has been lost. Trip for me. What the? Don't make a woman repeat herself. I'm telling you to take your clothes off. Fine. That's a good boy. Do you need any help? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You have a much nicer body than I imagined. I suppose it will be fine leaving our world's fate in your hands. Oh, no need to take off your underwear. Hmm? Disappointed? No. no. Look at your body. What's this? All 12 of the constellations have their star brands on your body. It wasn't just one star offering that lost its powers. All 12 have. Do you understand what that means? Impurities not absorbed by the star offerings will increase twelvefold. And if they break out of the labyrinths, this world will end. That's why we need your help. Does that mean you'll accept? You must exchange the powerless star offerings in the labyrinths with new ones. That is the duty of God's gift. There are a bunch of monsters called impurities inside the labyrinths, right? I've been awake since you started taking your clothes off. But I didn't want to interfere, so I pretended to stay asleep. <laughs> You're a funny one. If you ask me, that's too unreasonable. Even if it is, you have no other way of returning to your world. Besides, Mahiru, you won't be going to the labyrinths. You have another duty. What's that? I'll explain some other time. Just rest up for now. All right. As she said, there are monsters dwelling in the Stardust Labyrinths. Deep inside are the Impurity Gods. Unless you defeat the Impurity Gods, you cannot place the new star offerings. That's what becomes of a star offering when it loses its powers. It begins fusing with the Impurities deep in its labyrinth. And it quickly becomes a powerful monster called an Impurity God. Why? Unfortunately, no. The people of this world cannot defeat impurity gods. We can't even hurt one. Our long history proves that. No, you are God's gift. You are the warrior who will save this world. And you're not alone. You have many allies on your side. You'll need the power of the Star Maidens to fulfill your duty. Now, come with me. I'll introduce you to the Star Maidens. Hey, Rio! Hold up! Your bed's ready! Wanna see? You can have some fun with any of the Star Maidens at any time now! Mana, hold your tongue. But before we meet the Star Maidens, I'll take you to where you'll be lodging. Oh, and I'll be your guide for a while. You get to have this beauty by your side, so you better be thankful. This will be your frontline base until you fulfill your mission. You should have everything you need, but ask Mana if you need anything else. Mahiru will be given a room in another dormitory. Do you need to be with her? You two are in a relationship? What a pervert! <laughs> so, what were both of you up to before you came here? That's not it. You can see her whenever you want. There's no need to worry. Mana, please take care of the rest. Come to the square when you're ready. I'll introduce you to the Star Maidens. Now, let me tell you 
what you can do at the end. You're alone. how you walk around the castle towns. Hello. Looking for me? All right. Let me explain. First, our world calls the world you come from Sora. Sora is a world which hosts a civilization developed by science. Our world, on the other hand, is built around star energy. I'm sure you remember, but star energy is what your kind would consider magic. In this world, there are 12 gods represented by the constellations. Our people receive blessings from the god of their birth month. That sums up the history of the fantasy world. All right, let me explain. In this world, impurities are released as people bed with each other. Impurities are... They're like negative energy emitted from people copulating with one another. Impurities, when left to their own devices, will fuse and turn into monsters. They then become beings that bring disaster. They're far worse than wild bears. But people cannot simply stop being intimate, as it prolongs our species. That is why we use star energy to seal away impurities in a special place. And that place is within the Stardust Labyrinths. The Stardust Labyrinths were erected by a great mage thousands of years ago. Ever since, all the impurities have been absorbed and stored within them. Still, people will continue sleeping with each other for all eternity. 
The labyrinths ebb and flow with impurities because of this. To prevent overflow, we have 12 star offerings deep within the labyrinths. That sums up the nature of the impurities. Very well, let me explain. Enshrined deep in the stardust labyrinths are 12 star offerings. For every constellation, there is one star offering. Each of these, blessed by that constellation's god, has the power to absorb impurities. Active star offerings continue absorbing impurities in the labyrinths. However, just like the stars themselves, star offerings wane every 120 years. The periods in which they lose their powers are offset by 10 years. In other words, one star offering is lost every 10 years. Despite knowing this, we are still unsure of the specifics of a star's passing. The ancient texts only say this divine law, the stars revolve around the world. And when a star offering is lost, the impurities amassed by the citizens of that constellation cannot be absorbed. The impurities would spill forth from the labyrinths to attack our world. When that happens, the world will be thrown into utter chaos. But that will not happen, for each time a star offering loses its powers, a god's gift appears in this world to save us. That sums up the machinations of the star offerings. Of course, let me explain. I must repeat this, but you are the chosen God's gift. In this world, every 10 years, a God's gift appears with the star brand of the star offerings constellation that lost its powers. They come from the gate of light connecting our world to the world of Sora. A God's gift must purge all the impurities and return the labyrinths to normal. We need you to fulfill that duty. It must be done. The fate of the world rests on your shoulders. That sums up the duties of a God's gift. I see. Please do not hesitate to ask whenever a question strikes your mind. I was waiting for you. Let's go to the Star Maiden's classroom. are the Star Maidens, by universal law. They are each chosen by the citizens and blessed by the Star God. Just so you know, universal law refers to the will of the Star God whom we worship. I am the Scorpio Star Maiden chosen by universal law. Come on, say hello. It can be short. Uh... you looking when you said that? You disappoint me. Is a woman's body the only thing you look at? Looks like everyone's here. How about you all introduce yourselves? I already did, so how about the others? All right, everyone. Let's go in order and be concise. Hello, I'm Ari. I am the Ares Star Maiden. I serve the church. I'm Tarua, the 
Taurus Star Maiden. I'm usually out delivering mail. Nice to meet you. I'm Lilith, and I'm a fortune teller. I'm the Gemini Star Maiden. Oh, I should mention that Lilith has an alter ego. her for more details about that later. Next. I'm Ruka, the Cancer Star Maiden. You don't need to remember my name. Good day. I am Femi Runa, the Leo Star Maiden. So long as I am a Star Maiden, world peace is guaranteed. Oh, God's gift. You will have nothing to worry about. As for me... That's enough. I said to be concise. Next. I'm Mire, Libra Star Maiden. I mainly do research on star energy. I'm Sue. I'm Sagittarius. I love caring for animals because they're so fluffy. I'm Faroon. I'm the Capricorn Star Maiden. I was actually a traveler, but now I work at the tavern. Nice to meet ya. Colette! I run the bakery Colette Sweet Wheats. I'm the Aquarius Star Maiden. I hope you'll stop by to buy my bread. <laughs> Come on, Yuzuha. You're the last one. Oh, I'm... um... Yuzuha. I'm usually painting at home. And... I might be the Pisces Star Maiden. Not might, you are. Including Mahiru, these are the 12 Star Maidens. So about them! They were chosen to purge the impurities and reborn as Star Maidens. They're able to create the star offering of their constellation just the once. And must fulfill their duty for the next 120 years until their powers are lost. The ones chosen as such will never age so long as they are a Star Maiden. Maintaining your youth for 120 years seems like a sweet deal to me. But the previous Star Maidens were different. The Star Chaos three months ago made them lose their Star Offering powers. It is what we are calling that incident. All the Star Offerings suddenly vanished in a single night. The Star Maidens are one with the Star Offerings. That's why when the Star Offerings lose their powers, so do the Star Maidens. Then and only then do they finally complete their role as a Star Maiden. The Star Chaos caused all 12 previous Star Maidens to lose their powers. We were chosen next. They were all chosen to be Star Maidens just over a month ago. They must have been really confused to see the star brand on their bodies. Being chosen out of the blue must have been nerve-wracking. So much pressure. Up till that day, none of them thought they would become a star maiden. But there's no time for that anymore. Even now, the stardust labyrinths are beginning to overflow with impurities. God's gift appears when the star maidens are chosen. That's how you got here. You are a rare type of God's gift with the marks of all 12 constellations. No way. No, she only has the Virgo Star brand. It seems she is a God's gift who is summoned as the Virgo Star Maiden. This is the first time in centuries the Star Maidens have been chosen like this. Same with how two God's gifts appeared at once. It must have something to do with the star chaos. Usually, only male God's gifts are summoned due to class mating and all that. Also, the star maidens have always been from this world, chosen by the citizens. But this time, only 11 were chosen. The Virgo maiden was excluded. 
That's when my hero appeared with the Virgo Star Maiden Starbrand. There are so many things we just don't know this time around. We got dragged into this mess. You always appear out of nowhere. I'm always eavesdropping. I suppose I don't have to repeat my explanations then. I doubt I can really serve as the Virgo Star Maiden in the first place. But I have to, otherwise I can't go back, right? As expected of an honor student. While I'm at it, can I ask you something? Did you spit something out when the star brand marked you? I did. It was this creepy, ugly thing. Ugh. I feel sick just thinking about it. Or is it morning sickness? Morning sickness? Uh... Oh, then you don't need to worry. You simply spat out the impurity within you. What do you mean? The ones chosen as Star Maidens. They expel any impurities from their bodies prior to being reborn. It varies by person, but to some, they show signs of pregnancy. Then I'm not really pregnant? Not unless he knows something we don't. I caught his sigh of relief earlier. Oh, really? What are you talking about? We didn't do anything! Look at me with doubting eyes like that. Mahiru does seem like she would be quite popular back on her world. Are you sure you didn't fool around? I absolutely did not. Just as a precaution, I'll give you a checkup later. I may not look it, but I am the palace physician. I see. So I wasn't pregnant. Thank goodness. So what happened to the impurity she expelled? Amazing! As expected of a god's gift. That strength will help you enshrine the star offerings the star maidens create. What am I supposed to do? What's the star offering? I'll teach you how to conjure it later. It's a tiring ritual, but you'll be fine. Now, that's about it for the Star Maiden introductions. God's gift, we need to talk. Come to the church later. Got it. There you are. This is where the magic happens. To fulfill your duty, you will need the help of the 12 Star Maidens. Remember what I told you? Right. Yes, but that's not all. The Star Maidens have another important duty. That is class mating. Even if you are God's gift, going to Labyrinths alone is suicide. You need allies to join you in the fight. No way. Unfortunately, they have no direct ability to fight impurities. But we can create children with you. What? Pardon me, star children to be exact. The star maidens will classmate with you and create star children. You'll be surrounded by 12 beautiful girls. It's like your own harem. Isn't that awesome? That you can't stop drooling right now. By the way, do you have experience in baby making? <laughs> when did you? Oh, you don't look like the type, though. I guess you know when to get down to business, you perv. I did too. Wait, you meant you 
have experience fertilizing plants with cow manure? <laughs> Whatever. It was stupid of me to ask. Listen carefully. God's gifts go into labyrinths with star children to fend off the impurities. You will create star children with us through the class mating ritual. Now you're confusing me. Aren't you supposed to be a doctor? Just how long do you think it takes to raise a child? And hold on, why are you talking so casually about making children? Don't worry, Mahiru. The ritual we refer to is different from sex. Star children are warriors born to carry out the mission of God's gift. It's not the fruit of your loins that you're thinking of. From the moment star children are given life, they become the only existence next to God's gift who can purge impurities. Stardust labyrinths also have doors that only open with star children present. That's why you need star children to fulfill your duty. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. It'll be faster if I just show you. We'll conduct the class mating ritual now to create a star child. Come, Mahiru. I'll show you how. Wait, Dr. Rione, are, are you telling me to make babies with him right now? <laughs> you're not serious, are you? I'm sure you're only embarrassed because everyone is watching. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Get used to it? <laughs> it only hurts the first time. Mana, stop teasing Mahiru. But God's gift, do be gentle. It is her first time. What the? Just do as I say, and you'll get it right the first time around. No! Don't just start going at it! Mahiru, this is to return to your world. You must accept it. during the ritual. <laughs> it was that good, huh? Sh shut up! But wasn't it easier than you thought? Now you all know how to do the class mating ritual. You gotta do that with all 12 star maidens from now on. You better get training to increase your stamina, if you know what I mean. You gotta take the initiative. All the star maidens are virgins, after all. One condition to be selected as a Star Maiden is keeping your virginity intact. Aren't you happy? You can get with all 12 of them. You gotta be grinning deep down. Mana, what are you whispering? Oh, sweet nothing, Saul. Now, this is important, so listen carefully. Form a deeper bond with the Star Maidens, the Star Children will be stronger. How well you interact with the Star Maidens is key to your mission. I can tell you're not that good at winning over the ladies. But you really gotta be on the prowl when you interact with the Star Maidens. Being a bit forceful is necessary at times, too. <laughs> That's not very manly. He doesn't have it in him to say that with pride. Oh, 
one more thing. There's actually one more thing about the class meeting ritual. Huh? <laughs> It'll be like a dream come true for you, I'm sure. You can actually take in two Star Maidens at a time! Seems like God's gift is finally prepared to do his part. Star! You came at just the right time! Not to worry. I will tell him that when the time is right. There is something else you must know first. Will you hear me out? All right, time for the next step. Let's talk about party formation. That's all there is to it. After the star chaos, creating new children has been banned in this nation. That is only a temporary solution, however. At this rate, the species will be unable to prosper. So I thank you, God's gift, for accepting this mission, whatever your reasons. this nation is facing. We are going to the shop today to gather some fighting equipment for you. This is from the king. His orders are for you to prepare for your mission. It's a check. That's amazing. The fate of the world rests on you. You can buy up the entire shop if you're so inclined. You can even slap a star maiden's cheek with a stack of bills! What do you think? Doesn't it feel great to be rich? Mm -hmm. You're so pitiful. Anyway, let's go shopping. It's too dangerous to explore the labyrinth without the proper equipment. Once you cash the check, let's head to the tavern for a drink! Sorry. Who was that? Drunk this early in the day? The bums are really crawling about everywhere. Anyway, let's go cash that check. What happened? No. no. Too much time will make Nars super suspicious. I'm 
sorry. We're in this together, at least for now. I'm prepared to do what I need. I didn't think we'd trip up so early on, though. Once you're done preparing, it'll be time to head into the Stardust Labyrinth. Oh, you better give me 10% interest when you pay me back what I lent you. Come again! Now then, now do you understand? Of course. Right. I have high expectations. Yes. 
That's right. Now then. Understood. <laughs> All right.
Let's go. Don't let your guard down. Let's go.
Don't let your guard down. Don't let your guard down. Let's 
do this! My turn. Eat this! We're done. Let's go. Here goes. My turn. Keep an eye out. Way too easy. My turn. Let's go. Let's do this. My turn. Let's go. Let's do this. There. Next up. My turn. Next up. Eat this. So. Don't let your guard down. Way too easy. Next up. Way too easy. My turn. Eat this. So. Look how strong I am. Stronger by the minute. Don't let your guard down. Here goes! My turn. Eat this! Here goes! Next up. Is it over? Don't let your guard down. Way too easy. Next up. Let's do this. We're done.
Don't let your guard down. Here it goes. My turn. So Don't let your guard down. Way too easy. Next up. Here goes. Next up. So Don't let your guard down. My turn! Next up. Way too easy! Next up. So. Don't let your guard down. Here it goes! Next up. My turn! Next up. Way too easy! My turn. Here it goes. Next up. Huh? Is it over? Got another boost. Look how strong I am. Look how strong I am. Stronger by the minute. Let's go. Here goes. My turn. Huh? Way too easy. Next up. <laughs> We're done. Let's go. Way too easy. Bang. Next up. Let's do this. So. Let's go. Let's do this. Bang. Next up. Way too easy. Strike. Next up. Is it over? Don't let your guard down. Let's do this. Next up. My turn. Next up. We're done.
Don't let your guard down. Here it goes! Next up. Let's go. Here it goes. My turn. Here it goes. My turn. This is over. Let's go. Let's do this! My turn. Way too easy! Next up.
Let's go. Here goes. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Way too easy. Next up. Way too easy. Next up. We're done. Got another boost. Don't let your guard down. Way too easy. My turn. Way too easy. Next up. Let's do this. My turn. So Let's go. Here goes. My turn. Here goes. So. Let's go. Here goes. Next up. Way too easy. Next up. up.
Let's go. Here it goes. Strike. Next up. Way too easy. There. We're done. Let's go. Here it goes. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. Up. Uh, Look how strong I am. Let's go. Let's do this. Next up. Eat this. Way too easy. Next up. Here it goes. Strike. My turn. Let's go. Way too easy. My turn. There. Next up. My turn. Eat this. My turn. Eat this. Here it goes. Six strike. Next up. Now let's get.
next up. Up. <laughs> Next up. Guard Way too easy. Next up. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> so got another boost. Let's go. Let's go. Next up. There. Not good. Yet.
done yet. Right. <laughs> oh! Wait. I'm impressed. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Well, That's simply not true. What? Yes. Do you understand? Right. I will now introduce you to the other students of the Academy. Come with me. God's gift, you're not a student here, but you should get to know each other. 
Like with the Twelve Star Maidens, I hope you will all get along. Thanks. This is a special class for the Star Maidens. Outside of being the Dean of the Academy, I teach this class. Oh? This class is comprised strictly of the Twelve Star Maidens. It was hastily put into the curriculum a month ago, after the Star Chaos. The Star Maidens attend this class every few days each week. To build profound bonds with the Star Maidens, you must visit the Academy often. Got gift? Be sure not to hit on the other female students. What the? I'm sure you're tired from everything. Please head to your lodging to rest. Right. Welcome! Come again!
Now then. Well, about that. <laughs> wrong did you want something from me did you hurt your tummy right the doctor is always busy in this world though as the Scorpio star maiden I do have some freedom would you like some coffee no You're so considerate in such strange ways. How about we chat a little? Is there something you want to talk about? I'll answer anything. That's right. Didn't I tell you already? My occupation is that of the palace physician. I guess there was a bit of a commotion then, but don't you remember? You really should keep in mind all the things a woman tells you. Even more so if you want to deepen the bond with the Star Maidens. Is that a compliment? Well, I suppose I should take it as such. We have to deepen our bond together, after all. Should I tell you more about myself, considering the question you asked? Right. <laughs> You're an honest one. I'm the palace physician, but I'm also the public health doctor of this academy. Managing the health of the Star Maidens and God's gift is my main job. Naturally, I also treat the general students who come here, too. As well, as the Scorpio Star Maiden, I will do the class mating ritual with you. Well, how about it? Does that satisfy your request? Uh... Yes, that is the most important detail for you to know. My duty is to monitor your health. If you ever feel ill, even just a little, come to me. I won't consider it trouble no matter the case. Just assume I'm your personal physician. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Do you want to know my measurements? No. Oh, that's too bad. I'm actually quite proud of my body. No matter. Come by next time so we can chat over some coffee. I'm usually here. Thank you. Yes, I hope to build a fantastic relationship with you. I will give you my full support as both a Star Maiden and your doctor. Goodbye now. Please look after yourself.
why. I get it. We own it. <laughs> now then. Why? Idiot. Right. No way. Right. Now then. What do you mean? No.
Right. Goodbye then. now.
Hello. Looking for me? I see. Please. Sound all handsome and everything. I'll have you know I've heard that a million times already. If you're trying to hit on me, you should think of something more unique. <laughs> gotcha. Have a seat for now, God's gift. Let's have a chat, you know, for the future. <laughs> um, let's see. Should I introduce myself again? I'm a dancer, but I'll do my best as a star maiden, too. Wait. Mm, I guess I'm both. I travel from place to place often. I don't have a home. I'm a traveling dancer who goes around the world. That's me, Peru! <laughs> and yet, when I came here, they suddenly told me I'm a star maiden and stuff. They even put me in an academy to boot. Give me a break, you know? That's why I have high hopes for you. Just go and save the world in the gym. Then I can go back to traveling. What? Really? I didn't hear about that. Hold up, give me a break. That means I can't do any more traveling. I still have so many places I want to go to. I can't just stay in one place forever. Hmm, this is bad. I better go and talk to the big wigs at the castle. Anyway, I'll need your help. Go beat up the bad guys and save the world or whatever. I'm counting on you. Right. Wow, you're so manly. You get one point on my manly scale. A point system I made. Save up enough points and good stuff will happen to you. Hmm, I'll exchange them for gifts like pencil boards and stuff. Anyway, I hope we can get along. I'll try cooperating as much as I can. It'll end up helping me too. Thanks. Okay, well, that's that. See you later.
All right. <sighs> Why did I have to become a Star Maiden? I'm probably not good enough for that. Hmm? Who's there? Sorry. Um, you don't have to say sorry. It was my fault for daydreaming. Hi, big brother. Did you, uh, want something from me? I thought you already did that the last time. Oh, you said properly. Okay, I guess proper salutations are needed. Um, I'm Yuzuha. I think I'm the Pisces Star Maiden. N nice to meet you. Thanks. Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Looks like he's not someone scary. Uh oh, it's nothing. Don't mind me. Please, continue. Uh... It's my job. Not so much a hobby. I'm actually a painter. I draw here all day, every day. Uh, but now I also have to work as a star maiden. Uh. Well, I can't help it now that I've been chosen. I don't really want to, but I've given up on resisting. I'm really good at giving up. So please, don't mind me, big brother. I'll do my job as a Star Maiden properly. Oh! I'm calling you big brother. Uh, does that sound too pushy to you? I don't know what else to call you. Then, can I just keep things the way they are? I think it feels more right this way. It's like pairing Summer's End and Cat. That's how right it feels. Oh, was that a bit much? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm just glad you're not mad. Is there something else we have to talk about? I don't really notice these things, so please tell me. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. I I'm sure you found out today, but I'm bad at talking. So, I'm sorry. Sure, but it still won't be fun talking to me. Big Brother, you have to use your time wisely. <laughs> but I...
get it? Uh huh. I see. You okay? I see. All right. Oh, right. What's wrong? All right, let's go. I get it. Faroon. Okay. Let's go! Okay. Sh sure. No. Yep. Thank you. I know that.